All right, let me tell you a story about a cup of coffee. Not long ago, my in-laws were visiting me and my mother-in-law wanted to make a pot of coffee. So I pointed her to my Mr. Coffee Maker in the kitchen. She took the pot, filled it up with water, put it on the warming plate and said, now what? Um, I had to stop myself from laughing, um, and then I realized she'd never used a drip coffee maker before. She had a percolator at home, so it was understandable she couldn't use it. A few weeks ago, I was visiting my in-laws with my children, and I was the first one awake and suddenly realized I had no idea how to use a percolator. <laughs> um, my sister-in-law across the street had a new super fancy Keurig that was so complicated I was scared to use it. So I ended up with no coffee that day, which was not fun visiting my in-laws. Um, <laughs> this relates to my dissertation study because I was looking at how um, teachers learn about technology and wanting to understand that process. And so I looked at how they, um, how they prefer to teach their students the different methods and how innovative they currently were with technology. And what I found out is that first, it's important to know if they're percolator teachers, Mr. Coffee teachers, or Keurig teachers, because their innovativeness affects how they like to learn about technology. So in my study, I did a survey to determine this, and then I discovered that their learning needs differed. So what, um, for example, a percolator teacher and a Keurig teacher would learn about the latest coffee gadget in very different ways. And the Mr. Coffee teacher would likely need different information as well. So from this, I believed that, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, from this, I learned that knowing the innovativeness of the teacher is vital when we're planning learning for them. I'd like to tell you another story about a teacher named Melissa. She was a percolator teacher and she felt that technology did not add anything to her middle school music classes. It distracted. And she also thought it was a waste of her time to learn about new technologies. So she avoided it. She did not enjoy her learning experiences until she was introduced to a new tool that was specifically for music and that was perfect for her middle school age students. She told me that it was the equivalent of, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm out of time. That's all right. Uh, um, she told me that um, it absolutely 1,000% changed her ability to teach her students and um, went, f which I considered going from, to go back to the coffee metaphor, a regular cup of coffee to a venti mocha cappuccino with whipped cream. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>